If you're planning on buying any cards from TCG Player, make sure you use our affiliate link right here in the description of our video to help support the channel. It's the best way to do it. Photon Store is the best place to get PCGO codes online with instant email delivery. They already have Darkness Ablaze available in bundles of 50 codes, single codes, and the pre release promo box. What are you waiting for? Make sure you use Tableman code for 5% off your final purchase when you're checking out. Millibotsgaming.com is the best place for you to find all the Darkness Ablaze singles you might need for your upcoming decks. Any Eternatus, anything you need. Make sure you get it at Millibots Gaming, and when you're checking out, make sure you use Tableman code for 5% off your final purchase. Tableman. Alrighty, Senti Scorch VMAX time. Yeah, Sinti Scorch VMAX, the other big VMAX that I actually like a little, a little bit more than Eternatus VMAX. 320 HP and has the GMAX Sentiferno attack, which does 40 damage, which sounds very bad, but this attack does 40 more damage for each fire energy attached to this Pokemon, and if you did any damage with this attack, you may attach a fire energy card from your discard pile to this Pokemon. So. If you're using two fires, which we only have two fires, that's 120, and then you attach one more, and that's 160 for three, which is a lot more respectable, right? But there's no cap, yeah? So you can get some crazy numbers with Senti Scorch V Max. And Senti Scorch V is actually decent because with the radiating, radiating heat attack, doing 20 and you may discard energy from this Pokemon, and if you do, you discard energy from your bonus active Pokemon, you can actually slow down quite a bit of um, decks, yeah? Uh, we have Heatran with Burning Road, where once you're a turn, when this Pokemon moves from your bench to become your active Pokemon, you remove any number of fire energy um, from your other Pokemon to it, which is pretty good. Um, gives you a, access to a GX attack. Um, Steaming Stomp is a decent attack as well, and Hot Burn also doesn't have a damage cap, which can be pretty good. Yeah, as a two prizer. And then we have Volcano as a single prize attacker with Flurge Star. You can power up Pokemon, and High Heat Blast does 50 damage plus four more energy. I mean, if you have four more energy, you deal 160 more, so 110 times two to 20 against stations. That's pretty nice as well. Yeah. For Jirachi to the Dene and uh, Eldegoss for consistency purposes. And then we have four Welder to, um, to research for draw. We have Bosses Orders, we have Malolana and Hyper Potions to heal since we can't attach energy from the discard pile. And uh, we end up with a lot of energy, even with or uh, including uh, attachments with Welder, using Hyper Potion to heal damage off is going to be pretty, pretty good. And because we power ourselves up, and um, sometimes we end up with like four, five, six, or even seven energy uh, Senti Scorches, Wondrous Labyrinth makes a lot of sense here because it can sometimes slow down your opponent quite a bit. Then we have the Big Charms and the, heat, the new Heat Fire Energy, where if it's attached to a Fire type Pokemon, you get plus 20 H. So, big fan of this deck. Let's see how we do with this in the ladder. Yeah. Sentiferno is a very powerful attack indeed. I would not play Rose with this. Definitely, I would not play Rose with this. Um, like, a winning Japanese deck. I feel like, where did you see that? Uh, probably PTG Radio. Um, like, the Japanese winning list that get posted every weekend, it's like the equivalent of winning an eight-man tournament at your local game store over the weekend. So saying it won a, a Japanese tournament, take it with a grain of salt, yeah? Especially, especially because there's no big tournaments happening right now. So saying there's a Japanese tournament winning deck is ugh, not quite super accurate, yeah? Okay, well, we have a very straightforward hand. Yeah, and we're up against Seishin, which is pretty cool. As long as we don't get dunked, I'm a happy camper with this hand. Yeah. As long as we don't get dunked, I'm a happy camper with this hand. Walder to maybe Senti Scorch V and drop Wondrous Lab. Yeah. If you have a busted stall deck. Not quite a stall deck, but yeah. Okay, so it's ADP Seishin. And we're up against Yamato. Probably not the 2004 World's winner Yamato, but Yamato nonetheless. And we'll see what happens here. We'll see what happens here. 
All right, there's a third change. We could get dunked, right? With the right combination. There's already two metals in the discard pile, so double metal saucer definitely could have gotten dunked. Um, there's three metals now, four metals now. So triple metal saucer or attach and double metal saucer. Very scary. And there we go. Okay, so my opponent completely whiffed the energy, I assume. So he had to pass. I wish he could have let us showcase a little bit more of the deck, but it's okay. ADP would never be able to GX versus Santi V plus Lab. <laughs> I mean, the thing is, you can't search for Lab easily, though. That's the issue. Because you're not going to play Guz Mahal in this either. Uh, we already have eight wins today. Very nice. We did win more with Eternatus after the first few, after we got that initial bad luck of away <laughs> in the beginning. After we got that out of the way. What does the Heat Fire Energy do? It gives your Fire Type Pokemon 20 extra HP. Yeah, it gives your Fire Type Pokemon 20 extra HP. Alrighty. So I would like to go first. And we start Jirachi and Quick Ball. Once again, I'm a simple man. I don't want much more than that. I am very happy with with that combination. Yeah, I am very, very happy with that combination. Okay, so we're up against Picrom. I actually don't know how this matchup would go normally. I have a backup giant card, which is fantastic. So the card I discard here, I feel like I still wish first. Oh, Welder, that's nice but it's not super necessary. I'm gonna save the water for later. Okay, so I think it's the reset stamp, honestly, because I don't expect to use reset stamp next turn. And I do expect to want the fire. I do expect to want the switch, the heat factory. I mean, the giant hearth. Um, yeah, so happy with that. Happy with that start. Not the best, not the worst. Not the best, not the worst. Alrighty. How did you guys like the new the new stinger transition? Yeah. Where it goes like room and shows tail one and then it room disappears. I gotta play the good that then AGX are I could switch it up, yeah. They did give me those promos here. I could switch it up. I definitely could. I do prefer the full art though. Like Chunky the Dene looks cute, but I still prefer the full art. It's amazing how the Dene now costs four dollars though. The the promo the Dene costs four dollars. It's crazy. <laughs> Thank you, ZPT Lexer. Thank you. I'm glad you like it. Okay, so power plant that's completely okay by me. Especially with the hand that I have. And hitting for 240 is not gonna be difficult. Yeah, hitting for 240 is just not going to be difficult. Alrighty, so... I kind of... Yeah. Still wish. Uh, the Pokecom. I don't want any of these cards. I don't want to get rid of any of those cards. That's what I mean. So I'll switch. And then I'll attach. And then just please give me a VMAX. Pretty please. That's not a VMAX. Nowhere near close to a VMAX. We're gonna lose a hyper potion. I'm not happy about it. Oh, uh, you know what? I messed up just there. Okay, I'll try to make up for it. I'm gonna switch because I get I did get double switches, so I can't still wish again. Uh sure, I'll grab the quick. Because if I hadn't discarded the Volk, I could have uh Pokecomped and still for the VMAX and then still gotten the still gotten the the dead change right if i got um the vmax oh my gosh i want to play the dene as a as a supporter and there we go there's the vmax very nice and then i'll do this and i only have well i have two fires i think i'd rather discard Sandy scorch let me just grab the fires and then we'll burn that poor <laughs> Jirachi to pieces. So now we're hitting for 160. Wait, I thought it, you, oh my gosh. Oh, you know what? I've been playing Senti Scorch wrong for the last four weeks. <laughs> oh, I 
I've been playing Senti Scorch wrong. I thought you did the damage before attaching, or after attaching. I thought the damage was calculated after attaching. Wow. I mean, Senti Scorch is still pretty good, but oh, it might be worse. I've been, I've literally been playing with a proxy Senti Scorch deck wrong for the longest time. Oops. No, the Dene is not a supporter. <laughs> I was trying to play it as a supporter. Why nobody wants to play against Senti Scorch? I mean, I'm pretty sure they just had bad hands, you know? The first opponent with ADP just had an awful, an awful, like he had awful luck. And then the opponent right now, like he was probably dead with a dead hand too, you know? Once the AA hack dies down, can you make a quad Regirock promo beach last chance potion deck? <laughs> you like, sir? <laughs> if you send me a list on Facebook for that, I'll consider it, yeah. Chunky the Dead Hill Day. Okay, decent starts. Especially going second. Depends on what we're up against though, but we'll see. I do have switch, right? Switch safely into something, hopefully. My opponent is sad. Why would you be sad? Like, is he sad because his hand isn't good? Is he sad because he's playing Rillaboom? Alolan Executor? Is he sad? Why is he sad? Play with ADPC, Anakin Skywalker. I will play with ADPC, but I'm going in order and I'm gonna feature the new decks before I feature updated old decks, you know? Metal frying pan, oh my God. Well, I can't beat you. Well, I actually could, oh well. I actually can win if I get an energy? Yeah, I win. <laughs> Jeez. Too broken. Like, that's enough for the KO without weakness. Because my GX attack did 100 minus 30. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, Arlen, you did. And I just talked to you. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Okay, in case in case anyone the other the other day someone conceded immediately after they uh after they queued in the ladder against me because they said they would have an advantage. If you if I ever you queue against me, um don't don't like and just either stop watching the stream or if you want to watch the stream and make it even more difficult for me to win, go for it. Yeah, I really don't mind it at all. I really don't mind it at all. GG Arlan, sorry about the the silly donk. <laughs> sorry about the silly donk. Alrighty. So I do wanna go first. I will get a mulligan. We'll get a mulligan. Oh, okay, there we go. Devidity, he's playing a mill deck. That's okay, you don't have to apologize. Yeah. Let's see what happens here. Let's see what happens. Oof, we gave quite a few mulligans. Okay, so if this is a mill deck, I mean, I would immediately know because of the Marine, right? Therefore, I wanna use the least amount of resources possible in order to beat my opponents. Okay. Thank you, CVD Lexer. Thank you so much for hanging out. Enjoy your dinner. Thank you so much. Those are some cool emotes. <laughs> Those are some cool emotes. Thank you so much for hanging out and being active today. Okay, missed his favor to start off. So my opponent might not be able to, I might just win. Oh, I might just dunk again. Okay, so it's like the, the Dragonite mill deck which i think should play 
speed and capture energy, right? Okay, there's a quick wall. So he was just holding onto the card, I guess. Okay, getting the kill with Burning Train next turn would be great because even if I get put to sleep, I could still evolve and wake up, right? And I have four, three or four switches, and I have Maulana, and I have Eldegoss. Yeah, so I'm feeling confident. And I have a skateboard too. Nice, okay. So as long as we find a switching card, we can kill them a reap. Uh, okay, well. I don't want to dig too much for the switching card though. Okay, that, that works out. That works out. There's a switching card. Alrighty, so KO number one. Yeah, KO number one. And we got a switching card out of that, so that's fantastic. Because then what I could do is quick wall for Heatran and get the next KO that way. Sounds pretty good. Yeah, sounds pretty good. So my opponent will surge, he'll play Lance, then he'll get Dragonite, and Dragonite will get something. Double Dragonite even. Pretty sick. The little bow. I think I definitely go after Sation. If, if I wake up naturally, I go after Sation, I feel. Unless the Mareep, well, no, actually, never mind. If the Mareep is still active, I just KO the Mareep. My opponent doesn't play a stadium here, that would be fantastic. I fancy my 50% chance to wake up. There's Mew3, there's a third Mareep. There's a Fluffy Pillow, no stadium yet. There's a Belelba. Oh, he hit a switch. What are the chances? Jeez. Well, there's and a stadium, and he plays a stadium. Oh my god. <laughs> that was very unlucky. Oh well. Single head flip. That was very, very unlucky for us. That my opponent milled such good cards. Okay, so we have a skateboard, we do have Malolana, we do have one more switch left. Okay. I should transfer the three energies. And not use my, I mean, like I could KO this guy, is that worth it? I actually think it is. I actually think it's worth it because then he might be pressured into 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 <laughs> into benching another one, right? And that would be really nice. And there's a Vmax. There's a Stadium, which is also a good find in terms of finding energy, but also countering the Stadium. Like he has double Dragonite, right? So he probably won't need another Station, but it gives him so much less uh, card access every turn. Like finishing your turn drawing three more is, is insane, right? Or it's really, really good. I actually kind of want him to discard my Belelba. Well, no, not my Belelba, my, my Malolana. Okay. Okay, so we lost Welder. Okay, so we lost Big Charm, Energies, VMAX, Deden, and Welder. Completely okay with that. Completely, completely okay with that. Just, I'm not, I'm not gonna be a happy camper if I have to research this upcoming turn, but oh well. That's annoying too, for sure. And we get heads, tails. Okay, so honestly, I'm just gonna be patient here. I'm just gonna go ahead and attach, and I'm gonna pass and be patient. He's, yeah, he's down pulp bats, below bats. He can't just like directly attack me every single turn. And he's down two stadiums too. They don't like some. 
Surge, Tavia Caitlyn, gets back Bill Hilda, yep. Will he play Bill Hilda? Play speed, so no resource management this turn. No stadium in play yet either. Okay, he does play with Lola and he just got rid of another uh, something good, I think. Okay, not for me though. What did he get rid of? Uh, Slum, oh, Palpat, Palpat. Yeah, Palpat and Slumbering Forest. That's actually insane. Okay, so, and I woke up, jeez. So, do I go Eldegoss? Boss KO or Anguru? I think I do. I think that makes a lot of sense actually. And then I'll go ahead and attach here. And then I'll Steaming Stomp. Because now he needs to find another Ranguru. He's down two and an ordinary rod. Okay, there's his stadium finally. He's down to two cards though, and he has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, he did have the other ordinary rod. Can he draw cards though? Puts back the two orangaroos, doesn't have energy to put back, goes for the fluffy pillow. Well, again, fine. Okay, goes for the fava, that's okay, because I can still GX if I need to. And I got an energy of my prize cards. Oh, okay, so capture energies for the Aranguru. And there's the doll. And I woke up, yikes. <laughs> yikes, only down two dolls, however. So is this where I retreat? I think this is where I retreat, honestly. We haven't seen boss. I honestly think this is where I retreat and just hit for 20. Because then I have a guaranteed turn of attacking. Right? And he needs to replenish his deck. So, like hitting for 20 here, it doesn't matter. I just want to have the evolution to get out of the, of the thing. Play one on Cargo GX and deal with Mill? Nah. <laughs> Absolutely not, Freddy. Absolutely not. Unless you know you're gonna play against Mill every single round. Absolutely not. <laughs> Just for fun. <laughs> for a League Challenge, sure. Okay, so we're gonna get Fluffy Pillowed. The little bomb, we lost, I don't know what, fluffy pillow, I don't know what we lost, okay, I still have switch and I still have my old mana, what, what I might need it might be order, buzzes orders. I really hate that I'm losing my reset stamp though. One of Belova before the ban, great versus Eternatus. Yeah, that's true. They should finding it at the right time, right? But yeah, can obviously be very good against Eternatus, bringing them down from eight bench to to three. Palpat, ordinary rod, Palpat. Okay. Oof! What? I woke up, and I got my switch. No, that's bad. Is he gonna concede? That's actually bad that I got this. Uh. Oh no, it's not bad. What do you mean it's bad? Like having that in hand is actually fantastic, Paolo. What the heck? Oh, I still need an energy to retreat next turn, right? Oh no, never mind, because I can KO anything with Heatran. Yeah, I win, I win. That was a great top deck. 
So the double head flip didn't matter because I, I, I like I purposely didn't evolve so I could evolve and get out of this lead. So I got lucky when it didn't matter. <laughs> I got lucky when it stopped mattering. Where is my wondrous labyrinth? Right here. It was caught in Apelelba. Yeah. It was caught in Apelelba. Okay, so the little bomb. Haven't lost my Mal Lana yet, surprisingly. Did lose a boss right there. Air Balloon. Yeah, like, there's no way he could stall with the uh, doll here. He has to use a Ranguru. So then we just switch, transfer the energy to Heatran, and win. So yeah. I flipped all heads when I didn't need to flip all heads. And we beat Mill. I got very lucky with some of my top decks though. Alrighty. I even top deck the Malana, jeez. And there we go. Hotburn GX for 200 damage. You really like the design of Sentiscorch? Yeah, I do too. I, oh, look, a bug. I generally thought... Um, yeah, you got unlucky on the flips, and I got pretty lucky with my top decks too. Divinity, GG. I have a new friend in Paris. What do you mean, Team Pie Pokemon? Are you having another kid? <laughs> Are you having a grandkid? Wow, we have an eight win streak. Senti Scorch. We can't seem to lose with Senti Scorch. Maybe I should just call it quits while I'm ahead, right? I, I probably just jinxed it and now I'm gonna lose the next match with Senti Scorch. <laughs> nah, hopefully not. I'm kidding, Pete CGO, please don't kill me. Oh, Asia starts uni there. Nice. That's awesome. That's awesome. What's she majoring in? Ooh, fire versus fire. What could this be? What could we be up against? No matter what, I'll choose to go first. Uh, not the best hand. If I had a follow up to this, if I had like a follow up to my Senti Scorch, any supporter. Okay, there we go. That's nice. That's all you want. Very nice. Ooh, we're up against Reshi Sword. Biology and Chemistry. That's awesome. That's awesome, Team Bai. That is awesome. I mean, Look how much my chemical engineering degree has really made a difference for me, right? But <laughs> hey, Josh, I'm doing well. Thank you. How about yourself? Just enjoying the new cards and the new format and the new everything. <laughs> how are you doing, Josh? How are you doing? Playing full guys? <laughs> oh, wow. My opponent just passed. Did he? Why did he just pass? Okay, I'm gonna take an educated risk uh, and I'm not gonna attach the energy. I'm gonna discard it so I have an energy to attach to afterwards. Because I fully expect to draw an energy right here. There we go. And then let's do this and let's thin. And let's just research. And pretty nice. Gmax Senti Ferno, get the KO, and probably just outright win. I think my opponent left the game. 
I think. Is it turn into is good? Yes, it's very good. It's very good. You just got one DAA for six RCL trade. Wow, that's insane. That is actually pretty insane. Yeah. Okay, so my opponent. Yeah, I don't know. What new games did you buy, Josh? You're trying to build some websites for your classes this fall. Okay. Yeah, I'm glad you're doing um, distance learning. Okay, so one more game with Senti Scorch, yeah? And then we're going on to Vika Volts. Reshiram 2.0 because the ladder is tainted with Sandaconda V, really? I have not seen any Sandaconda yet. Lantern's Dice, Kodama 3D and Boss, have, haven't heard of any of them. No, it's not, it's not with Senti Scorch. We start, it's, it's a six, I think it's six or five with Senti Scorch. Cause we finished the Turnitus with like three or four. Yeah. Ask Azul, <laughs> well, I can't ask him. I'm not on his stream, right? <laughs> I would like to go first. Yes, I would like to go first. I don't know what I'm up against. <laughs> Seismic Toad. Not quite Seismic Toad, no. Alrighty. Okay, so we're up against some sort of ADP deck. So I'm gonna leap with this. I hope, like I shouldn't get dunked, right? I don't expect to need reset stamp. Also not switch, but definitely less reset stamp. I could have, I could switch in. I could have grabbed Drachi and switched into it, but I don't see the need. And then I'm gonna pass because I wanna use this next turn, honestly. No, Derek, it's never better to go second with any deck. I can't come up with a single deck where it's better to go second. Yeah, mine isn't focused heavily on Volcanion. This is focused heavily on Jirachi. The good old days of Quaking Punch have returned for two weeks. <laughs> I don't have a big Volcanion lineup. Yeah. Okay, so I could be extremely annoying and discard my opponent's energy. And given his slow start... Did he... He played spinner for water and metal, and then he attached the metal. I think, nah, I'm just gonna attack into it, right? Yeah, let's just attack into it. Do I wanna bench the other Senti Scorch? I don't think I need to, honestly. So I'll do this, and then I'll do this. Well, I'll draw first, I guess. VMAX. VMAX. Nice. Do I wanna save this? I don't think it matters too much in this matchup. I think I'd rather get closer to Welder, but this is also getting me closer to Welder. Hmm. That's getting me closer to Welder, or a good Welder. So let's just max Senti for Senti for now. Well, I have the Knockout, so never mind. I don't need Welder. So I should have Teddy changed. ADP team expanded, Luna, Lutra, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. I featured a deck about it a few days ago. It's pretty good. Ooh, now I do want Welder. Well, I guess the decision's made for us. Now I do need Welder. Because I'm hitting for, no, I'm hitting for 160. If I attach, I'm hitting for 200. Never mind, never mind. I don't need Welder. Don't need Welder, Pablo. Uh, I will try Mad Party just to show how bad it is in standard, and then eventually I'll try and expand it um, and see if that's good. Yeah. In the mirror, you're better off going second, but like if you go first, you get to evolve first. I don't understand why you would want to go second. Okay, so we attach, we get the knockout, we evolve. I don't even want to bench Jirachi. I thought about going to Denim. Why is it bad? <laughs> well, first of all, because HPs are in the 340 and upwards, right? And second of all, there's no reliable way to get the Pokemon in the discard pile. Like, people look at Mad Party and they think, oh, Nightmarch is back, that's so good, right? It's even better because there's more Pokemon, but Nightmarch was good because of Battle Compressor, not because of Nightmarch, or rather because of both things. 
there's no there's nothing anywhere near being equivalent to battle compressor in standard format so it's absolutely terrible yeah it's going to be absolutely terrible mad party in standard is going to be absolutely terrible but in expanded i could see it working because it can be fast and it has battle compressor right it's the same reason why lost march was never a thing yeah there was there's never been the equivalent of a battle compressor for the lost zone so lost march sucked yeah or it, it didn't suck that much but it was still good it's not best because then you you have to have the pokemon in your hand how are you getting so many pokemon in your hand yeah and still like it's getting the pokemon in your hand then getting them in the discard pile then finding the right energy having the right setting up the right attacker even if you have 15 mad party pokemon in the in the discard pile yeah you're not watching one shotting eternatus you're not one shotting um any v max which are going to be the metagame and if you're playing the tenet then they can trade favorably uh, over the course of two turns, like you're two shotting a VMAX, right? They KO your dude, then you attack again, and then they KO a GX, and then you, they traded three for three. So it's not, yeah? It's not. It's okay. I mean, it's day one of Mad Party. I am saying Mad Party is not good after 20 years of experience playing Pokemon competitively at the highest level, okay? Mad Party in standard will not be good, will not be competitive. Yeah. So you want to try it, go ahead and try it. Prove me wrong, prove me wrong. I would put my hands in fire saying Mad Party will not be good in standard. Yeah. The damage output is just not there. If the modifier was 30 times, then yes, it would be good. Okay. It would be competitive. But at a modifier of 20 times, you already have to play like dedicate 16 spots, 16 spots to a lot of useless Pokemon that are just there to be discarded. You have to find the Pokemon, you have to discard them. If you're benching the Dennis, you're having that risk. Like the whole point of playing a non-GX attacker is to trade favorably. But then if you have to bench the Dennis, if you have to play a Recorios, you're losing that. Yeah. Um, best in the world, sure. You can challenge me with Mad Party if you want. You can definitely challenge me with Mad Party if you want. Okay. So, Mad Party is a good deck. Oh my god. <laughs> Isn't like. We can agree to disagree. Yeah, but you're not gonna convince me. Okay, you're not gonna convince me, and I'm not gonna convince you. So, we can agree to disagree. One price, one attachment, one price attackers is really good. One attachment, one price attackers that require so much setup behind them when there's no battle compressor, that's what's not good. Yeah, The mad party concept is good. The fact that um, there's no good structure and good support cards for the deck, just like there was with Night March when battle compressor was a thing, is number one. And number two, when Night March was a thing, yeah, you needed seven Night Marchers or eight Night Marchers out of your 12, right, to get a one kill. Now, even if you have all 15, you never get a 1 KO, okay? Mad Party with Rose. Yeah, that's that's the true... <laughs> that's the true combo right there. <laughs> yeah. So, like, I could, I could also be wrong. Yeah, like, I'm, I could also be wrong. But as a very competitive player, I... Almost 100% sure that I'm not wrong about Mad, Mad Party. Yeah. In standard. In expanded, it might be good. And very big might. But not in standard. Absolutely not in standard. Yay, we did get Welder, but we didn't get... Uh, Hyper Potion. We didn't get the VMAX. So I'm going to Welder to the active. <laughs> what if it is good in standard? Then you will have proven me wrong. Yeah? And you will have the satisfaction of having proved me wrong. Yeah? I, I will money match you in standard mad party. Like I, I will literally money match you if you want. Yeah? I wouldn't mind doing a a, a $10 best of three money match. My pick of Eternatus or 
ADP Sage or like my pick of a top tier standard deck versus your mad party deck and fairly confident I will win uh well this sucks because we don't have the vmax and we don't have a way to draw the vmax Mad party is only printed as a theme for worlds 2021 <laughs> Okay, please top deck Pokecom or a supporter. Okay, I am actually down to a money match. Oh, this really sucks. My hand really sucks. Because if I retreat, I can't KO with this guy. Uh, no quick balls, no Pokecoms, no VMAXs, no research, no welder, no nothing. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to retreat, honestly. Okay, if I retreat with the special energy, I don't actually die. I, I have less HP, but I still have 10 left. Well, uh, sure. Switch either. I mean, there are ways to discard, yes, but Roxy discards too. Yeah, you know? and that's that. Night March had Ultra Ball, Battle Compressor, and Professor's Research. Yeah, but that's okay. Like, I will generally, I will accept any money match featuring mad party yeah. i will actually accept any money match featuring mad party with gusto <laughs> i will actually accept any money match with um any money match look alike bell i have no idea what that does <laughs> Like I generally prove me wrong. Yeah, I'll be happy to money match anyone. Saying Mad Party can beat consistently Eternatus and ADP Station and Senti Scorch. Yeah. All right. Well, that's a good top deck. Um, I don't think I want Pokecom. No, I mean Hyper Potion. Don't. I think it's gonna be like super necessary. Okay. Can I please just get a VMAX now? I can. Okay, and I get the Wondrous Labyrinth, which is pretty nice. And I get this for next turn, which is also pretty nice. So, the question is do I go in with the VMAX or do I go in with um, Volcanion? And I'm thinking it's Volcanion, honestly. Yeah, I'm thinking it's Volcanion. My opponent must be very confused why I attached that energy. And then I'll go like this. And then I'll go boop diddy boop your Mr. Mime. And now you need one more energy to attack me, Mr. Combosation. Why 10? Why not 100? Uh, because I haven't played the deck, yeah? because I might be proven wrong. Yeah? Are you so confident that Mad Party can beat Eternatus in a best of three consistently that you would do on a hundred dollar money match? Like, I'm not saying no, I'm just saying I'm, I would consider it. Yeah, I'm not saying no, I'm saying I like I would consider it. Does this feel like a fun deck? Yeah, it, Senti Scorch feels really good. I like Senti Scorch. It's worse than I thought it was, though. <laughs> Eternatus seemed a little frustrating. It did, it definitely did. It, it did in the beginning when I was drawing all the clunky energies, um, which hasn't really happened with this. 
Oh, he did kill my dude. Oh my god, I just realized I didn't see the tools cover until now. Oops. Skill level. Um, yeah, turn up this is very linear for sure. It's very, very linear. Would you actually take on a hundred dollar money match best in the world mad party versus alternatives or versus adp station i'm just saying 10 to make it accessible you know i feel confident i could win 10 10 um oof okay uh, this is good to stop my opponent from wrecking me. I need to get closer to boss's orders. <laughs> well, nowhere near close. I could tele change. I might do it next turn, but not this turn. I'm just going to take the KO here. I'm in a lot of trouble though. Like if my opponent gets the first attack off on this, I'm in trouble. If he goes combo KO this, then I'm also in trouble. <laughs> yeah, best in the world. Sure, let's do that. That'll, that'll be cool to see. Yeah, we can do it live. I'll be happy or record it. Yeah. And thank you. I appreciate that you like. Senti's court just felt pretty good. We haven't lost with it so far. Um. Yeah, I lost with it so far, which is cool. Oh wait, my opponent just goes retreat KO and then boss KO, right? Well, he might not be able to retreat. I guess he broke. He must have promoted this for a reason, right? Because he knows he can retreat. Yeah, he has a switch. Okay, so we need him to not have boss. If he has boss, he wins. He's down two. He does have great catcher though. I believe I did see the great catcher. I believe I did see the great catcher. Me finding boss doesn't matter anymore. And there's no way for me to attack his hand anymore. So I'll just do 1 million damage and hope. Yeah. Great catcher or boss. If you promote your achieves, great catcher or boss plus the switching card. Okay. So it comes down to that. This might be our first loss. If I hadn't whiffed. Oh, that's a bad top deck for us. If we hadn't whiffed. Um, if we hadn't with the Senti Scorch on turn two, then wow, he discarded boss. What? What? If he hadn't whiffed um, Senti Scorch VMAX, we wouldn't have been in this situation. Okay, so does he have it then? What? I'm guessing he's going for the research. He's played two only, yeah. So this Telewish will find him research and then he researches into the Great Catcher and he wins, maybe? He did immediately grab it. I think we got this. You put a bunch of codes, so hopefully he'll, he'll have the deck tomorrow. Okay, yeah, Mad Party I would expect to be easy to, to get. Oh, he no, he didn't hit the combo. Research? What? Skateboard. Okay, so the card in his hand is Mr. Mime. He's down all scoop up nets. Oh, he still has a switch left. Okay. Yeah, there's the research. He researches into switch and great catcher and wins. Yep. Switch, great catcher, GG. Yeah, that turn we had to retreat and just pass. That was awful. That was absolutely awful. Yeah, they discarded a boss, but they didn't have KO because if they ke had kept the boss, I imagine. Kelpie, thanks so much for follow. Um, they they didn't have a way to retreat, yeah, because their Jirachi was asleep and they didn't have any more energy left. So they couldn't grab boss and um, they couldn't keep the boss and then switch. So their best bet was to play to the Great Catcher plus Research thing. Um, they probably picked this scoop up over a boss, yeah. Or I don't know, yeah, I really don't know. But boss is not good because he still needed switching card, and so he might have had to choose between both of them, yeah. 
Uh, Renato, thanks so much for the follow as well. And um, Josh, thanks so much for subscribing with Twitch Prime. I really appreciate it to just make everything fly. Thank you so much for resubscribing. That will be all for Sentry Scorch. Yeah, we finished with a loss, but that's okay. Um, that is generally okay. We are now moving on to Vika Vault. So don't go anywhere. I will be right back 